to my channel for another episode of Pause Tiva Tuesday, where we talk all things positive, love, joy, peace, happiness. We have a good time. We tell funny stories. Typically, we do makeup while doing this. However, for today's episode, we are going to be talking about truth. So I know last week we talked about speaking your truth. If you did not watch it, click the link over here. I think it will be over here. Uh, and then you can watch that. And today we're just gonna be talking about truth. Not speaking your truth, but actually about truth. So I have a lot of information that I'm gonna be reading for this episode. And I'm just like not I can't do my makeup and do reading at the same time. I'm not at that level yet. Like I am not Bailey Sarian, which Positivity Tuesday was inspired by, just in case you don't already know, and her need for a mental health break. So I thought it would be great to just spread some positivity. She does Murder Mystery Makeup Mondays and then here, we have a good time to raise our vibrations and get us feeling good again. So if you don't already know, my name is Chelsea Don Khan. It is such a pleasure to be here with you. I love spending this time with you guys. I love it so much. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can spend more time with me and I can spend more time with you because we are now friends. And make sure that you uh, click the thumbs up button to like this video and click the bell button to subscribe and choose like I'm gonna let you in on a little secret choose all because then you'll be notified every week when a new video is posted so that you don't miss out on an opportunity to learn to grow to have fun uh, just to feel positive <laughs> So before I get started talking about truth today, I just wanted to share such a funny story with you guys what happened to me today. I was coloring my hair. As you can see, it's like nice and fresh. Oh, doesn't it just feel the best to have fresh hair color? Like it is like, I don't want to say it's life changing, but it just gives you like that boost of confidence that you needed in your day. Like, like nobody can tell me nothing right now. Like I feel good about myself. I look cute. However, a few hours ago, she was not looking cute, okay? It was, it was bad. Uh, my hair is naturally dirty blonde. Cause she's dirty, she's nasty, she's freaky, say what? Yeah, that's right, dirty blonde. Mm -hmm. uh, so my eyebrows, I was like, what should I do with them? I typically do them darker like this to match this side, but then over time, you know, they fade so much and then I just let them go their natural color. And today I was like, <laughs> let me try this color. Yeah, I was like, cool, like a nice coppery golden, that'll be great. Yeah, it wasn't, okay? It really wasn't, I'm gonna insert a video here for you guys. Hey guys, so here are my eyebrows. They are horrifying and like, I wish you could see them in person. I swear to you, they literally like are 10 times worse. They're so light and they just like glow and shimmer like a bit of like golden copper. It's so bad, they have got to go. Yeah, so you can see it was gross, it was disgusting, it was nasty, and and like not in a dirty blonde way. It wasn't freaky, it wasn't sexy, <laughs> it wasn't any of that, okay? It was so gross, so, and like seriously, I know I said in person you couldn't see it, but in person, they literally were like glowing, they were like see-through, you like almost couldn't even see them, they were just twinkling. They, yeah, they would twinkle when the light hit them. It was so bad, so bad. And my eyelashes are like very blonde naturally, so it just looked like I had these like green, like laser beams shooting out of my head, like yeah, yeah. 
So we had to take some extra time today to make them dark again, to fix that was a mistake. That was a mistake and it wasn't cute and it wasn't gonna be staying that way. Oh no. <laughs> like I wish you knew how horrified I was when I actually, in my head I was like, this is probably gonna go bad, but we're gonna try it anyway, cause we can fix it. When I looked in the mirror, after I got out of the shower, I was like, oh, like, what did you do? What? Oh, it was bad. It was just, mm-mm. Nope. Guys, I just checked the time and it's 2.22. If you know anything about that, you know that's a big deal. We'll have to have a talk about that another day. Yeah, we'll do that. Repeating numbers, if you see them constantly, like randomly at times, they all have meaning to it. But we are going to start our truth talk. So I thought that I would start by reading the definition of truth. Uh, so truth is the quality or state of being true. It is also that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality or a fact or belief that is accepted as true. So here's the thing about truth. The truth isn't always nice. Sometimes the truth is just true. And it's very important that we start to learn to speak it, but also also, <laughs> also be able to differentiate a difference between speaking the truth and being mean. People are always like, oh, that's so mean. Why would you say that? Sometimes, so, okay, sometimes people do say things just to be mean, but sometimes it's legitimately the truth, okay? It's not mean, it's just the truth. And sometimes you really need to be able to hear the truth so that you can grow and better yourself or, you know, you can change up a situation when you actually see the full reality of what it is and that it's no longer serving your life so that you can actually operate off of truth and honesty and not out of the lies that we create in our heads that we think are keeping us safe and keeping us protected. Trust me, please trust me when I say, I am like a professional at lying to myself so that I can stick in my comfort zone that allows me to be comfortable, but you're actually just sitting in misery and it's not comfortable at all. But you wanna stay there because the fear of the unknown, which typically is a much better situation than what you're existing in, is scary. Get over it. Put your big girl panties on, get over it. Like I did that for so long, not open to that anymore. That ain't for her. Like she ain't that bitch anymore, okay? But the first step is to stop lying and accept the truth. It is so important. It is life changing. And sometimes we also need to be able to, through love, say the truth to people. Not speaking our truth about our emotions, but just be in a place where you can actually say the truth of, say, a situation that's going on. Okay, example. I'm rewatching. <laughs> I'm rewatching old episodes of Jersey Shore. And one of the guys is constantly cheating on his girlfriend and the other girls in the house, nobody wanted to tell her cuz they all knew she wouldn't accept the truth. So the girls wrote a note and said, "Hey, your boyfriend's doing this, this and this." And then of course the girl didn't accept the truth immediately but she eventually did. 
Now, had nobody ever spoken the truth to her, I mean, it was a disaster. It is like, it is some drama. It is, it is some good TV. <laughs> it's fun to watch for entertainment. However, had nobody told her this, even though she, like, she knew it was happening, had nobody actually come out and told her this and confronted her with it, she would have just kept lying to herself, pretending it wasn't happening, like, you know, going on, looking like, oh, I don't care, he's over here with this girl and that girl and whatever. But it, it took for people to actually speak the truth. I'm sure that you can think of so many situations in your life where that is true, where all you needed was to hear the truth from somebody. And I know for myself, I would rather be the friend who speaks it and potentially hurts somebody um, and, and, and risking that because I know my intention to do it and I know that I'm doing it through love and I know that Sometimes the truth, it hurts, but it's not mean. And it's really, if you're doing it to help somebody, push them forward, push them through a bad cycle or phase or whatever, whatever this situation may be. There's so many different situations where speaking the truth, not your truth, but speaking the truth is so important. So I wanted to dive into some more info on the truth. Bear with me guys, cause I'm gonna be reading it. And please know that um, I will link, I always link any info in the description box below. I also link any makeup products that I use, but any, oh, what's that called? Any sources, I think that's what it's called, but um, basically any um, websites where I'm reading information from, they'll all be linked below so you can always go read the full thing. Uh, I really believe in giving credit where credit is due, so I'm not trying to take this info and say it's my own. So just keep that in mind for this video and any future ones too, if you're ever curious about anything, the info is linked below. <laughs> Eight benefits of always telling the truth. The first one, you don't have to remember your lies. Do you know how freeing your life would be if you didn't have to remember all the lies? Wouldn't it feel a bit different if you didn't have to constantly keep telling stories to cover the last story and try to remember the first story, the second story, the third story, the fourth story? It would be free because then you could just operate off of the truth. You never have to try remember anything. Like, don't you think you'd have so much extra mental capacity to be able to do other things, more important things with your life because you operate off of truth? Number two, you earn trust and respect. Like, I don't know about you guys, but that's something that's very important to me is that people know that I'm trustworthy and they can trust me and they respect me as a person and they respect our relationship. Like, because it creates safety within relationships and don't we all want to be able to feel safe? Like, isn't that important to you? And one simple thing to be able to give that to yourself is to speak truth and operate your entire life around truth. Number three, you'll create deeper connections with people. Mm, yep, I would want that. <laughs> Number four, you'll feel more confident. A hundred percent you will because truth is truth. The truth will set you free. Operating off of lies, of course you're gonna be thinking constantly, who's gonna find me out? What are they gonna do when they find me out? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose everybody if they find me out. I'm gonna lose my business, I'm gonna lose my job, I'm gonna lose my money, I'm gonna lose my family. Like that will eat away at you constantly. Number five, trust creates opportunities. Yeah, because people have confidence in you and they respect you. Number six, lying takes energy. Sure does, just like what we talked about just a few seconds ago. 
<laughs> Number seven, you won't get caught lying. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And number eight is that truth attracts truth. And if you are a person who wants for people to be able to trust you, don't you also want to be able to trust the people, the relationships, the opportunities that you have in your life? Like not even just people, but opportunities. How are you supposed to feel secure in them? And typically an opportunity kind of comes in most cases with some form of monetization. And that's what basically gives you your lifestyle. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in, but it is. Don't you wanna feel secure in that and safe? The truth will give you all of that. If you're wondering, like, how do I tell the truth? What does that look like? Maybe if it's something that's new to you, because I think most of us are very used to lying. We get literally taught to lie all the time as a means to protect ourselves, or whatever it may be, as a means to get yourself ahead, as a means to be able to keep your friendships, as a means to be able to keep your job, as a means to be able to stay in your comfort zone. Like... If you're, if you're wondering, how do I actually tell the truth? Don't worry, I got you covered. We're gonna talk about it right now. So step number one is to set your intentions with why you're wanting to tell the truth. And again, if you want deeper info on this, the links will be below. Number two is to differentiate between the truth and your truth. Very different things. Again, check out last week's video if you already didn't where we talk about speaking your truth, your emotional truth versus the actual truth of the situation and what happened. Number three is to acknowledge possible sensitivity. Number four is to state your perception of the facts because most likely the other persons might be different and it might or it might not, but if it is, it's going to give you an opportunity to really be able to figure out more so, okay, what, what did actually happen here? Because it could be totally different than what you're thinking. Just like how we talked last week about when the person spit on the street and it flew and hit someone else and they're all disrespected because they got spit on when that person didn't actually intend to spit on them or try to spit on them. Number five is open the door for feedback. So that is so important. If the intention is to always try, even, even gaining truth on a situation or gaining truth on how you're handling a situation, find people who know you really well and who you trust, whose opinions you value and who you know want the best intention for you and then ask them, say, listen, I do, I have, guys, I have to do this all the time because I am like such a dramatic person. Such a dramatic person. I have one main friend who I go to and then a few others who I also go to and say, listen, this is what happened. This is how I feel and this is how I'm thinking about dealing with it. Can you please tell me if I'm being like so like out of touch with reality on this? Because I want to be able to have relationships with people who I trust because of the truth, who can speak into my life, who can help me see where maybe sometime I'm wrong, who can help to guide me and steer me and correct me when I need it, or who can say, no, you're totally right. Like, go for it. Like, do you. It's very important, like, to be able to, to trust a few people, not everybody, but a few people for your personal growth. Not for them to grow for you, but sometimes we can't see outside of ourselves and somebody else can. And when they speak truth into your life, it can be a game changer. Number six 
is understand the bigger picture. Very important. Kind of like the spit story. Like someone just meant to spit on the street, not on you. Sorry about it. Like number seven, engage in honorable closure. So I just do want to um, unpack that a bit. And it says closing a truth telling conversation appropriately is as vital as opening it appropriately. Take sh turns, take turns. Take turns sharing something I appreciated, something I learned, and one thing I'm going to work on or do differently. And that is so important because then it's not just like, let's say it's something where people are apologizing at the end. Then it's not just empty apologies where you're like, cool, you literally, we both already did this like 10,000 times. We both already apologized for this 10,000 times. We both know nothing's ever going to change moving forward. And I'm just going to wait a few more weeks for this situation to run its course again. And then we're going to do it all over again. Like taking those steps forward of this is what I'm going to work on moving forward is so important because that actually shows that you're taking the time to allow the situation to actually affect and positively change you. And you're showing that uh, you want to become a better version of yourself so that you can grow deeper uh, relationships with people. Another thing about the truth is that truth is the foundation for a fair and just society. And don't you think maybe that's why things are spiraling so intensely? Because nobody tells the truth anymore and everybody's just concerned more so about their own image or about furthering their narrative or their storyline that serves their purpose best. Like if you really think about the way society is going, not even society, just even people's behavior in general, the way companies act, like wouldn't it just be better? The, the whole world would just be a better place if we operated off of truth. I'm sure it would be a much safer place to live in. And wouldn't we all love that? So, you know, maybe we can't fully change things around for our generation. We probably could for the next one. For sure for the next one after that. So, but how do we do that? We start by operating and speaking truth and be the example. And then hopefully other people will be attracted to it. Typically they are. And then they will want to start doing the same. And then it just creates this like trickle effect, right? So I would just really encourage you to keep that in mind. Next time you're like a bit scared to do it because it can be very scary, uh, especially because we're kind of taught to like hide the truth. And that's how you get yourself ahead in life but just be brave and have courage and behave behave based off of your belief systems and your values and not off of your fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Truth is truth. So I would encourage you to choose the truth. You'll be really proud of yourself when you do also just want to talk about ways in which truthful people behave, I guess you can say. Truthful people understand themselves and know their own strengths and weaknesses. They will not delude themselves about their successes or failures. Truthful people present themselves in a way that shows who they are. Their reputation will be founded on what they are and whether in public or private, they will be the same. And that builds like a shit ton of trust. Truthful people meet any commitments and promises that they make. Like, let's get real. We're all humans. We're not meeting every single one. Sometimes life happens. But a truthful person will take accountability and ownership and apologize and say, listen, I know I didn't hit it on this one. This is why, not as an excuse. Sometimes you don't even say this is why. Sometimes you just say, it didn't happen. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do better next time. Like, 
I know it. I know it didn't happen. Truthful people are accurate in their descriptions of themselves and others so that they do not mislead others. And like, please know that I'm not saying I'm perfect at this all the time. Nobody can be, we're human, but it's just about making the effort to do the best that you can uh, and, and correcting yourself when you kind of get off course and apologizing. I'm sorry is a great thing to learn to say and always just striving to do you don't have to be like, oh, I'm going to be the most amazing person next time. Just do a bit better than last time. And then the next time do a bit better than that one. And then the next time do a bit better than that one. It's going to do you real good. Let's also say that maybe there's a situation where somebody is being a liar pants. And it's just not working for you. <laughs> and, you know, maybe they just need to say the truth. And you're like, how do I... Like, I've clearly caught you in this lie. And how do I get you to just say it so that we can talk it out, we can figure out why it happened, how to move forward from here, you know, what, it, what does that look like? Please talk me through it. I'm going to give a short tip. There's a lot more on this. So again, check the links in the bio. But... Don't ask questions, create a monologue. Imply that you already know what they've done, that you understand the pressure that led to their understandable mistake, and if they can confess, then you can work together on fixing the problem. A guilty person just wants to be understood because it allows them to feel they've been forgiven. And what I wanna say about that is, when you do come into a situation where somebody is having a hard time speaking the truth or trying to tell you the truth uh, or even just fully running away from it and in full denial. We have to understand that just because we are starting to feel more comfortable with the truth and that we are trying to exist and speak in the truth, not everybody is quite there yet. Hopefully, eventually everyone will get there but we cannot be hating on the people who aren't because it's just going to create more negativity and judgment in the world and that's completely not what we need. Completely not what we need at all. So please, when you run into these people as much as you can, if you still want to keep that relationship or situation in your life, just try as much as you can to help them understand that you still love them, you're trying to figure a way to work this out, that once the truth comes out, it's not going to be this like, I hate you kind of situation. And that you are a safe place where they can actually start learning or trying to speak the truth. And try as much as you can to make it a positive outcome, which should always be the goal. But sometimes, let's get honest, it can be hard. But just try, because when somebody who is starting to learn about truth sees a positive outcome, it's going to attract them to it a lot more. And it's gonna make them want to, you know, try do that again, or like think, Maybe next time something happens, the truth won't be so hard for me to come to because this time it was like, it went really well. I enjoyed this experience and it allows them to like take those baby steps. What's that called? Dip, dip their toe in the pond. I think that's what it's called. So just be graceful. Have empathy compassion, understanding, and love as much as you humanly can. It's really going to change the outcome of the way that most of these situations go. So to finish this video, because I don't want it to be a super long one, I just wanted to read two more other things about truth. So... Truth is the rock foundation of every great character. 
It is loyalty to the right as we see it. It is courageous living of our lives in harmony and our ideals. It is always power. It doesn't that sound attractive to you? I know it does to me. Truth ever defies full definition. Like electricity, it can only be explained by noting its manifestation. It is the compass of the soul, the guardian of conscience, the final touchstone of right. Truth is the revelation of the ideal, but it is also an inspiration to realize that ideal, a constant impulse to live it. And for the last thing I'm gonna read about truth. This one is actually an article about why truth is so important and powerful in business, but I really think that it just applies to all aspects of life, as truth always does. So why is the truth so powerful? Truth is so powerful because it's the only thing that cannot be bought. 90% of the things in the universe can be bought. Better health, education, relationships, experiences, and more fun, which we love here, fun. The one thing that can't be bought, no matter how wealthy you are, is the truth. And the truth is mistakes happen. It's inevitable when we're talking ideas turning them into realities and monetizing them. We must realize those mistakes are a natural part of existing and we must forgive ourselves so we can learn and develop from our faults. So as much as we need to forgive other people, sometimes when the truth isn't happening, it's also so important when we don't operate out of truth or speak truth that we be graceful with ourselves and forgiving with ourselves. And just remember that there's always going to be another opportunity and another time to try again to be that better version of ourselves, to just do better next time, to make ourselves a bit more proud next time than we did this time. Please, if you run into a situation where you maybe found it hard to operate in truth and couldn't do it, don't beat yourself up. We don't have time for that. Just forgive yourself. Move on. Know that you're human in a human experience. And guess what? You're going to do better next time because that's your intention and because you know you can, and because you know you're worth it, and because you love yourself just that little bit more than you did the time before. I hope that you can all keep those things in mind. And just remember that the truth isn't always mean. It's just the truth. And maybe that will start helping us all to operate keeping in mind that the truth will come out and that also the truth will set you free. So how should we be acting and behaving so that when those things do happen, it's okay. Cause we know we behaved in a good and truthful way. I hope that you all enjoyed learning a bit about the truth. I hope that you did actually learn something and find value in this video. Please remember to subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll be notified of next week's video or any other video in the future. And please, if you have topics that you would like me to talk about, uh, comment below. I'll see them and then at some point, we will get to all of them. So, or just if you have any comments about anything, make sure to comment below. Please remember to be respectful because we're all just people walking each other home. Is that not so true? And we all just need to spread a bit more love and positivity. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me. It was such a great time for myself. I hope you felt the same. And we will see you next week for another episode of Positive Tuesday.